want to talk to you guys today about um, going out there making the best of every day. It doesn't matter if it's snowing out or doing something else. Um, if you're hanging out with your family, you're talking to new and important faces every day. An important face is a new customer that wants to help you build your business. They're going to provide you the opportunity to earn money, to grow your business in a new direction. You're also looking for uh, old friends that you haven't seen in a while and you want to talk to them. Talk to at least a minimum of five people a day to grow your business. I don't care if it's the gas station attendant or the gas station owner. F uh, take the business card, make a contact list, always be reaching out to new and friendly faces. And if there's a yard you drive by and it doesn't look like they take care of their yard, give them the opportunity, you know, to say no to you. Always be uh, offering your service to people that you haven't met before. That's a way to grow your business. You don't have to have that customer as a regular or weekly business um, client, but what if it's a one-time deal once a year? You do the, the spring cleanup and they mow the yard on a regular basis, so you just get it in the shape. You can charge a premium dollar for that service because you're doing more than just a mowing job. Uh, just a, you know, it's not a mow and go, but you know, I mean, that, that's the real easy stuff. But you're going in there and you're going to clean someone's yard up, get it looking good for the beginning of the season. And um, you know, what, what can that customer say? No, okay, it's going to look the same. Then they're get, probably going to get a letter from the city or county about a code violation. It's going to cost them more to have the city do the yard work than it is for you to go in there and offer a reasonable price, maybe $200 for the yard cleanup. I know some places charge um, the county or city or township, depending on where they're at in the country, will charge them up to $500 for that yard. Um, that <laughs> Just to go in there and mow the yard, pretty much. So it's up to them. A lot of uh, landlords have uh, properties that they bought, like bank-owned homes, and they bought it. Uh, some people bought houses years ago. I think it was like for a penny program or whatever it was. It was like back in the 90s. But anyhow, they, they might have a house that they really never took care of. It's a tax write-off, you know. Um, but it, it's a nuisance. It's a public nuisance. So offer something, you know, offer something reasonable. You know, there's more of those properties out there than you realize. There's companies that own over 10,000 properties nationwide. If you get on their good list, preferred uh, vendor list, you can grow your business. Um, there's uh, private owners, people that own lots and lots of properties, and they keep it on the down low. They don't share it with everybody because not everybody is flashy. Not everybody drives the most expensive car. Not everybody that has money wants to show it off in a BMW, Mercedes, and so on. Um, just be genuine with the customer. Be fast and friendly with the uh, opportunity to give them an opportunity to say no to you. That, that's what it is. Three-step sales uh, closing, you know, sales approach. Um, introduce yourself. Let them know who you are. How that you can help them. You know, make an offer. Let them talk a little bit about the, the situation, uh, probably before the offer. Then once you make that offer, it gives them the opportunity to say no. If they say yes say i you know like uh, what i like to say is uh if the customer calls me you know or let's say randomly meet them at the uh, i don't know the lawnmower repair shop so what they do is They will sit there and ask you, like they start talking with you. Oh, what you here for? You know, small like seasonal talk or the weather or oh yeah, my lawnmower quit on me. The grass is too tall or something, something great like that. And so I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm like, hey, this is a great opportunity for a new business uh, to grow my business. Um, so I'm just excited about that. 
you know, I'm not like, oh my goodness, like a little kid, like running around on the playground. But you, you get the idea. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So I talk with them. And with a couple of minutes, I have a pretty good idea. Actually, a, a few, probably 30 seconds, I have a pretty good idea what they want, what they need. And I make an, an offer. I say, hey, this is a good day that I can come out and do it. When would you like to get started? You know, I leave it in their ball court. So it's that silence. It's that silence. Um, there's a number of top salespeople that uh, teach the audience, teach their people that they train. It's the silence. That silence. Closing on the deal. That's silence. Whoever speaks first loses. I think that's what I've heard. So you want to keep that in mind. And it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for anyone that listens to this video um, to just be reminded about it. Uh, always go out there looking for new customers, new clients. And you're going to make it happen in, in this year, 2019. Start by January, February, March. You're going to have customers calling you. Go out there, advertise. Go out there, advertise. Go out there, you know. If you don't have a snowblower, you, what, you got a shovel? Go up there and shovel some uh, driveways. Earn 60 to $100 per yard or a driveway. Car the sidewalks. There you go. Maybe a smaller yard. Says a sidewalk, 20 bucks. But make an offer. Put an ad out there for 60 See what you pull. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. And uh, check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And thanks again. Have a great day.